I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Without consistency, you'll never finish. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots and you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs fall forward. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Because the 1,001st was the light bulb. Fall forward. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks, and I'm sure you've probably heard that before, but I want to talk to you about why that's so important. You will fail at some point in your life, accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There's no doubt about it. And I know that's probably not a traditional message for a graduation ceremony, but hey, I'm telling you, embrace it because it's inevitable. In the acting business, you fail all the time. Early on in my career, I auditioned for a part in a Broadway musical. Perfect role for me, I thought, except for the fact that I can't sing. I didn't get the job. But here's the thing, I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I walked out of there to prepare for the next audition and the next audition and the next audition. I prayed, I prayed, and I prayed, but I continued to fail, and fail, and fail, but it didn't matter, because you know what, there's an old saying, you hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later you're going to get a haircut, so you will catch a break, and I did catch a break, last year, I did a play called Fences on Broadway. But here's the kicker. It was at the court theater. It was at the same theater that I failed that first audition 30 years prior. The point is, every graduate here today has the training and the talent to succeed. But do you have the guts to fail? If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. So imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on the ghost of the talents you didn't use and they're standing around your bed angry disappointed 
and upset. They say we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. That some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal a rock from anybody. How did this have to happen to me? For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass.